With the threats from Islamic State militants not showing any signs of dwindling, U.S. President Barack Obama decides to put his foot down. For determined to fight the extremist group wherever they exist, the American president asked Congress to authorize military action against them. With more, here's our Kim Minji. U.S. President Barack Obama has made a formal request to Congress to authorize military force against a terrorist group that calls itself Islamic State. This resolution reflects our core objective to destroy ISIL. It supports the comprehensive strategy that we've been pursuing with our allies and our partners. In a televised speech, Obama noted the military campaign is a difficult mission, but said the U.S. is on the front foot and IS is going to lose. The request does not call for the deployment of ground troops, although a separate letter to Congress did state that it will be limited to rescue operations or the use of special operations forces to take military action against the extremist group's leadership. While there's general support for the plan, the Republicans want stronger measures and some Democrats say the resolution goes too far. If the request is approved, it would authorize a military campaign for three years without geographical restrictions. It would also be the first war authorization since then President George W. Bush sought authority to wage war in Iraq in 2002. The U.S. has conducted airstrikes against IS targets in Iraq and Syria since August last year, leading a coalition of Western and Arab nations. Obama said that although existing statutes provide him with the authority to take these actions, Congress backing would show the world that the U.S. is united in its resolve to crush IS. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.